Hey guys, I got another video for you for uh, Blue Iris. This one is uh, geofencing and uh, basically what it is and some of the possibilities that you can do with it. Um, to get started, um, I'll explain what geofencing is as, as it goes, but um, if you are watching this video, you might already have a basic idea. So the first thing we want to do in this demonstration is um, set up a schedule so that way when we come home camera shut off when we leave cameras turn on that's what we're going to do with the geofencing in this case so when you click on the settings then you're going to go to schedule and we're going to set up a schedule uh, so this will give you a little info on how the schedule works as well uh, you enable the schedule make sure it's turned on and we're basically going to just do a basic demonstration, a couple of work days, a couple of night days or night times, and then we're at home. So green is at home, and then blue is at work. Now, say I wanted to work Sunday, I would basically just say, okay, I'm going to work from, what is it, 8 o'clock until 6 p.m. So that's how the schedule works. So basically, you set your times, just draw your boxes and fill them in with the colors. Okay, let's undo this one. We could just put green all the way over that, and that would fix it. In this case, I'll just click undo. So that's our schedule. Okay, that's what we're going to work on with this one. And then the other thing you are, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into uh, mobile devices. So in mobile devices, we have a phone here. And as you see, I got a check mark for uh, push notifications. It's turned on. Uh, we're just going to highlight that one. And then your enter geofencing. Okay. So in this case, we basically want, when we get home, we want the cameras to do something. We want to go to a schedule for at home. Okay. You can also say trigger a camera. Um, we do have sound turned on to um, send a a push to the phone so it'll play this so that way when we get home we know it actually switched okay so that's what will play on the phone you can do other things um, you can run programs and stuff play a sound on the computer whatever it might be um, so let's cancel this one then we're gonna do exit basically the same thing so when we exit we're gonna say work hours okay temporary or you can run, you know, that profile, uh, but we're just doing temporary. So basically, when nighttime hits, um, it will switch to nighttime when that time comes because we have it set for temporary. So this is only a temporary thing, but the schedule can override this. Okay, so if if I don't leave, um, if I don't leave, then the schedule will go as what you've seen. But if I leave or come home at any time, then the geofencing will override the schedule, basically. Okay. So if I have work hours set up, but I come home during work hours, then the geofencing will override and switch it back to the home mode. Okay. That's, that's basically the whole idea of the geofencing. Um, so we'll just cancel that so when you have your mobile app and I'm sorry I can't show you the screenshot of it but you open it up and you go into the settings and you turn on geofencing and the best way to do this is to stand out front in your driveway and say use current location because then your phone has a, a really good geofencing location so it'll grab that GPS location and you set the perimeter 25 meters 50 meters whatever it is um, away from your house and that's when it will trigger the geofencing okay so now with my schedule set up um, of course let's let's go back to the schedule so right now I have we're, we're at home mode okay and you see it right up there in the schedule it's running green okay so we're on Tuesday and this little dot that's where we are right now okay now if I was to leave the house right now, um, since geofences is turned on and I set geofencing to run a certain profile, which was work hours, 
when I leave. Okay, so geofencing would basically override the schedule and switch it to uh, work hours. Okay, so that could enable my security system, the cameras, everything. All right, so I'll cancel this. So when, I'm going to show you all the cameras. Oh, they are all on. Yep, mm -hmm. okay, so they're on. Now, this is what's going to happen when I leave the house and I get outside that perimeter for what I set uh, for the geofencing. It will automatically switch my profile to work hours. As you can see, a whole bunch of more cameras turned on. So now the, the, the blue iris is basically monitoring all the cameras. Okay, well pretty much all the cameras. Uh, there's a couple more that you can't see there. Um, so you could use this for a business. So when you get to your business, you could have the blue iris disarm your system for security and cameras. And I say security because you can add motion sensors um, to the system uh, with a small device about a, I think it's $180. You can add a small device and you can hook up motion sensors so just wire them in. I think it's like three or four wires. You wire the, the motion sensor into this little device and you can tell Blue Iris that uh, when it detects motion on this motion sensor to trigger something like an alarm, um, the cameras start recording a siren. You can make a full-blown alarm system out of this Blue Iris so there's a lot of possibilities. Then when the business owner leaves the place, um, he locks the doors and he leaves, boom, automatically Blue Iris kicks in form. He doesn't have to do anything. So it's like arming and disarming everything when you get in and out of that range. So again, when I uh, come back home, uh, my phone will chime and Blue Iris will get the information that I'm close by and it'll switch the profile. So that is basically how, how it works. Now, there's a couple of things you want to set up. Now let's go back to away mode here work hours we called it um, let's take um, this door here okay so if I go into the properties of this basically the way we set this up is we say active during profiles okay we only want to active during this profile here uh, that's when we're gone that's profile 2 as you can see right up here in the corner now there's one other thing that can really mess this up okay and, and this took me a while to figure it out but if we go into schedule if we say continue display and to stream video while inactive okay and turn it on now what will happen is now remember when I'm at home this should shut off right well since I had that one check in the schedule it overrided and you know it's basically staying on so you have to make sure that when you go into the settings you double check everything uh, under general make sure active during the profiles okay and select your profile and if you uh, go into schedule you want to take that check mark out if you want that camera to stop streaming so it doesn't do anything now it'll just drop away because it's it knows it's not supposed to be working under profile one so that is geofencing um, if you have questions just shoot them below I'll try to answer them as soon as I can but that's just a basic idea um, of how geofencing works compared to some of the other DVR systems um, I honestly I'd, I've never even played with one so I don't know if they can um, do that I, I don't think they can they, they might be able to, who knows, um, but uh, with Blue Iris, it's continuing to update and more features are always added, um, so it keeps getting better and better and better. Um, don't think that'll happen with one of those DVR systems. So that's basically it. Got any questions, just let me know. Hopefully this will uh, help you out in some way. Take care.